The government has, in the eight years that I've been here, gone on and on about court decisions, uh, and, and yet we have seen in the last week how this government has been completely slapped down by the Supreme Court uh, for showing flagrant disregard for, uh, for provincial jurisdiction. Uh, they have no regard for how our Constitution is supposed to work as it relates to natural resources, as it relates to provincial responsibility. And yet they're bringing in time allocation to rush through aspects of their extreme anti-energy agenda, even at a time when the Supreme Court has clearly said they've overstepped. Why won't this government take a pause, listen to parliamentarians, but also listen to the Supreme Court instead of ramming through their unconstitutional anti-energy agenda? The Honourable Minister of Labour and Seniors. Oh, the pearl clutching, Mr. Speaker. No, Mr. Speaker, listen, if, they, if, the, if the members on the other side have moved concurrence, maybe we could have been debating this last night. However, they use procedural games to avoid debate. Here we are, happy to take questions on a very important matter. I would also, I would also take issue with the fact that the Supreme Court, in its opinion, did a slam dunk or whatever fulsome 100% uh, judgment was rendered from the other side. They did not. They actually made a very thoughtful uh, opinion on, on where the federal government and the provincial government should work together on matters of jurisdiction. And I can tell you that we took it, as we should, very seriously, and we will be, uh, we will be uh, looking at amendments that we could be making um, in order to make sure that it complies with the rendering that came from the Supreme Court last week.